The tale of the MV Joyita starts not with a serene departure, but amidst the turbulent uncertainties of the Pacific's vast expanse. On October 3, 1955, as the MV Joyita prepared to set sail from the capital of Samoa, Apia, her destination was the remote Tokelau Islands, a journey ordinarily cloaked in tranquility, but destined to spiral into the depths of maritime legend. Laden with 25 souls, her cargo bay filled with essential yet ordinary items, medical supplies vital for island clinics, timber likely destined for local construction, empty oil drums that rattled ominously against each other, and various foodstuffs meant to sustain the island inhabitants. The journey was expected to last a mere 48 hours, a brief passage across the sea's sprawling canvas, but the MV Joyita would never arrive at her destination. Concern mounted swiftly when, by October 6th, the vessel was reported overdue. What followed was an agonizing search, spanning vast swathes of ocean, with each passing day diminishing hope. It wasn't until more than a month later, on November 10th, that the ghostly figure of the Joyita was spotted adrift and partially submerged, shockingly off course by over 600 miles to the west of her planned route. The discovery site was a chilling spectacle. The Joyita floated aimlessly, her once robust frame now a forlorn silhouette against the ocean's vast backdrop. Rescuers boarding the vessel were met with an unsettling stillness. The absence of life was palpable, with no trace of the 25 passengers and crew, and the ship's lifeboats conspicuously absent, presumably launched in a futile bid for survival. Compounding the eerie scene was the state of the vessel's equipment. The radio, crucial for any distress call, was found tuned to a distress frequency, yet, tragically, its effectiveness was crippled by faulty wiring, limiting its reach to a mere two miles, a futile cry for help swallowed by the vastness of the Pacific. The ship's clocks stood still at 10.25, a silent testament to the moment when normalcy perhaps gave way to catastrophe. Despite being partially flooded, the Joyita's design and her cargo of buoyant empty oil drums meant she floated stubbornly, which deepened the mystery of why she was abandoned. Was it a rational decision by those on board, or a desperate act in an extreme situation? The interior of the ship offered more clues but no solace. Signs of a hasty adaptation to an unforeseen ordeal were evident. A damaged rail and a canvas awning, crudely rigged to collect rainwater, suggested attempts to secure fresh water under dire circumstances. The cargo was in disarray, some missing, suggesting perhaps theft or desperate scavenging by the crew and passengers as they faced dwindling supplies or awaited rescue that never came. Speculation swirled about the fate of the Joyita. Pirates, a mutiny, or even an elaborate insurance fraud scheme were considered, yet no evidence conclusively supported these theories. The official investigation proposed a creeping disaster, an unnoticed, slow flooding from compromised engine cooling pipes. But this mechanical failure did not explain the human element, the complete disappearance of everyone on board. To this day, the fate of the MV Joyita and her passengers remains one of the sea's most enduring mysteries, a chilling reminder of the ocean's unfathomable depths and the mysteries it holds. The story of the Joyita continues to captivate and haunt, a maritime enigma that underscores the ocean's perpetual allure and danger. If this tale of the MV Joyita has captured your imagination and stirred the waters of curiosity within you, then I invite you to delve deeper into the mysteries of the ocean with us. Subscribe for more fascinating stories from the depths of maritime history and beyond. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the journey into the unknown and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think happened to the passengers and crew of the MV Joyita?